Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with the summer transfer move to Arsenal. Now, I'll tell you what, I was just starting to lose it a bit with Arsenal yesterday. I was saying, come on, when are we going to start, you know, getting on a move with some transfers? Why are we being so slow and sluggish? And then out of the blue, this one just came up yesterday. The link um, t with us to Fabio Vieira. Uh, the news was broken by a journalist called uh, Pedro Sapolvelda, who was the same um, journalist who broke the news about Nuno, um, Dar Darwin Nunes, sorry, going to Liverpool. He broke that exclusively as well. And he put it out there yesterday that Fabio Vieira of Porto was on his way to Arsenal um, and that he was going to be signing for Arsenal for £30 million. And it came out of the blue. Nobody saw this one coming. There was no reports from any journalists or any publications leading up to it. If you'd have watched yesterday's show, you would have heard me speaking about two other players from Porto. Um, but it wasn't them. It was this guy, Fabio Vieira, that Arsenal were interested in. He's a creative midfielder, can also play out wide and also play as a second striker. Six goals and 14 assists last season. Um, a Portuguese international plays at under 21 level. And that is the player that is going to be coming in. And as I said, took everybody by surprise. Nobody out there can tell me, apart from this journalist, who, by the way, congratulations to him for breaking this one. Nobody saw this one coming. And it's a... Uh, it's some good news. He's a very, very good player. Um, can't say that I've seen lots of his um, games. I've just seen him in flashes. But very technical player. Um, a bit, if, I, if I was to... Who would I compare him to? He's, he's a bit like... I mean, James was saying to me that you'd sort of say he's a bit like a sort of Bernardo Silva type player. Um, which is that sort of tenacious midfielder, technically really, really good, you know, always putting it in and can play in multiple positions across that midfield or even as a second striker, as I said, or he can play um, on the on the wings. He, uh, he's left-footed, he's got a really sweet left foot and represents a very, very good signing. I think he was linked heavily with a move to Liverpool, um, but he is coming to Arsenal and it's just good to see that Arsenal are getting some business done good to see that they're buying some quality players and um yeah really really happy to see him coming in medical is being done today announcements going to be on that very very soon Fabio Vieira coming becoming an Arsenal player now a lot of people was after seeing that saying well that's it then um what that means is we're not getting Tielemans no more uh, Yuri Tielemans has been one of the number one targets for Arsenal. Obviously, now that we've got Fabio Vieira in, um, Tielemans is not happening. Well, I can tell you that Arsenal's still looking to bring Yuri Tielemans in. Um, even though they bought in Fabio Vieira, um, that is not to replace, or that is not instead of Yuri Tielemans. They're bringing him in with Yuri Tielemans. Yuri Tielemans still said to be top of Arsenal's shopping list, and could be a deal that could be completed next week for the 25-year-old experience in the Premier League, as we know, Belgium International. Um, fee's probably going to be around about £25 million. Remember, he's only got one year left on his contract. And again, that would represent a really good sign. And then all of a sudden, the midfield starts to look decent. You've got Fabio Vieira in there. You've got um, Yuri Tielemans in there, as well as, of course, we've got guys like Odegaard, uh, Smith Rowe. You've got, you know, all, all the other players that are there as well, like Thomas Partey. So all of a sudden, the midfield starts to look a little bit stronger. And the midfield was a real weakness um, last season. Remember, we were trying to strengthen it in January, ended up not getting anybody. We were thinking of bringing in Arthur Mello at that time. So good news on the midfield and also good news up front. It does look like this deal is going to get done as well. Gabriel Jesus, um, all the reports seem to be coming out now that Arsenal are going to reach an agreement with Manchester City to get this deal done. They're probably going to have to get up to near the 50 million asking price for Gabriel Jesus, which is quite a lot when you consider he's only got a one year left on his contract. But then when you look at Arsenal's needs 
we need a striker. We need a striker desperately. Um, of course, Aubameyang's gone. Lacazette's gone. Gabriel Jesus will fit the bill perfectly. He scores goals. He, um, The way he works, the way he plays, you can see that he's a player that is going to really fit Mikel Arteta's system. And I think it represents a very, very good bit, a bit of business um, at £50 million, if that's what the fee is going to be. And again, the expectations is that this deal will be done sometime next week, which will be great news because remember, 8th of July, that's when we start getting underway with our pre-seasons. We've got a pre-season over there in Nuremberg. Then after that, we go to America. Then after that, literally, you know, back to the UK where we play in the Emirates Cup, and then the season starts. And of course, we all saw what the uh, the draw threw up for us uh, yesterday. First game away at Crystal Palace. And I'll tell you what, we don't want to be going into that game unprepared like we were against Brentford last year, because that will be even worse than Brentford last year. So, tough start. But good to see that Arsenal are trying to get in place the squad and get them ready for pre-season prior to that opening game. And it's not far away. 5th of August, Arsenal kick off the season on that Friday night. Eddie Nketiah, by the way, is signing a new contract. It's uh, the worst kept secret out there. Listen, he he, he was on the, even on the Nuremberg flyer um, that he's going to be uh, going out there. So that was quite obvious that they're signing him. That's set to be announced as well. Um, said to be a long-term contract, said to be around about five years. Um, the rumours is that he'll be on about £100,000 a week. Of course, um, he was uh, set to leave. He'd reached the end of his contract and could have walked away um, for nothing. But um, finished off the season very impressively, um, Eddie Nketiah, and he's earned himself a new deal at Arsenal, and that is set to be announced imminently as well. So, looks like that strike force next year will be Eddie Nketiah and Gabriel Jesus. I still think possibly a third striker. I mean, you know, we were linked to that guy Scamacca, um, the Italian, but it does look like he's going to be heading um, probably to PSG. PSG very interested in him. Still think we could do with another type of striker, a big striker in there that can score different type of goals, but am I getting too greedy out here? Um, what's going to happen with Nuno Tavares? Spoken about him a few times. I, I, I like Nuno Tavares, but he's very, very raw. Um, I like the way he picks up the ball and he's explosive and runs at players, but sometimes he runs down blind alleys. Sometimes um, his decision-making isn't quite on it. Still very young player, and uh, the rumours are that he's going to go on loan. Um, it's Atalanta that seem to be very, very interested in taking Nuno Tavares um, on a loan, and I think that would be a good idea. I hope Arsenal don't sell him because I, I, I see a lot of potential there. Um, but Nuno Tavares set to go on loan, and that will free up space to bring in this guy. Again, another signing that's been muted to happen either next week or the week after, and that is Aaron Hickey, um, the 19-year-old Scottish international who had a fantastic season for Bologna. Um, left back, as we know, and we know the struggles we have with Kieran Tierney. It's good to see that, you know, um, he should be back sort of training and everything round about, uh, well, round about the end of this month. Sorry, the start of next month. But Aaron Hickey um, looks like it's the player that Arsenal are going to try to get to bring in as cover in that left-back position. Um, young player, and definitely he's a player that will be able to learn off of Kieran Tierney. And listen, we definitely need cover in that area because we've struggled when Kieran Tierney's been missing um, with the injuries. And as I said, um, Aaron Hickey, already an um, established Scottish international and has had a lot of experience playing a full season over there in Bologna and should be a good addition to the squad if we get that one done. So all of a sudden, a bit of excitement around. And I'm glad to report it. I was getting fed up with the doom and gloom. Even with myself, I'm like, oh, I'm like, why am I feeling so miserable, man? Arsenal, give us something. Well, they've given us something. Fabio Vieira coming in. Now, if they can follow it up, quickly with Yuri Tielemans and Gabriel Jesus, all of a sudden it starts to make Arsenal look like we're serious about next season, which is going to come really thick and fast. Listen, thanks for watching the show today. Uh, a couple of things to tell you about. Um, first of all, it's Father's Day um, in the UK this weekend. Um, if you want to get a Father's Day 
prison. Um, use the code AFTV20. Go to um, the link in the description. You can get up to 20% off any AFTV merch. And also um, the inaugural Claude Cup. Remember Claude, of course, who sadly passed away, who used to be um, a big influencer here on AFTV. Um, we are, are doing a cup that, where there's going to be four teams competing, um, including AFTV FC, uh, for the inaugural Claude Cup. Uh, we're raising money towards uh, his trust that was set up by his daughter, which, you know, great cause. It raises money um, for things, such things like uh, bringing people to come and watch Arsenal games, people that wouldn't normally be able to get there, people from disadvantaged backgrounds. It's a really, really good trust that she's uh, set up. So look out for all the details around that. That's going to be happening on, I think it's Sunday the 25th of June, or is it the 26th of June? Correct me if I've got the exact date wrong. But um, look out for all the details coming on that and get behind that. Any donations that you um, can afford to give will be gratefully received towards that trust. Thanks for watching the show, and we'll be back tomorrow.